Round number one on the way. The fight is just in the center of the ring, trying to find their range early, but Mako Joel doing a very good job of a jab. Mako John is the smaller fighter, but he is now explosive with his jabs as well. Very nicely done. Flicking that jab up there, trying to find his range. A classic southpaw against an orthodox. So watch for both fighters trying to fight for the lead leg. Once they get their lead leg on the outside of one another, they throw that big backhand that they have. A nice jab to the body landed by Mako John. Do you know what? Just looks like he's trying to find his range, trying to find an opening. Do you know what? Is the longer fighter. And when you're going up against someone who's a lot smaller than you, you can just step away from them and constantly stay out of the range. You need to control the range. If the smaller fighter is controlling the range, then you're not going to have a good time in there. But Marco John just doing a very good job of staying busy and staying in the correct range. He only enters the pocket when he wants to fire. Jump finds a nice right hook over the top of Ginoat. A nice left hand landed by Marco John, and Ginoat eats that shot very well, but misses with the counter punch with the uppercut. And Ginoat needs to get busy with that jab. There's no reason to let the smaller fighter dictate the range. Ginoat needs to stay behind a jab and use the outside of the ring to his advantage. Marco John looks like he found his range very early on in this fight with a nice slick jab and he's doing a very good job to win this fight knocking the head back of his opponent the fight is now in the center of the ring of course we have Thailand taking on the Philippines but it looks like Marco John is the more dominant of these fighters Marco John of course representing the Philippines Jab and a miss by Ginoat. And a nice jab upstairs, followed by a left hand to the body by Marco John. And Marco John has just found his target with that jab the entire time. It's almost like a home seeking missile for him. He knows where it is every time. And once you can find the range of a jab, you can set up a powerful shot with your backhand as well, hooks, uppercuts. The jab sets up everything. Ten seconds to go of round number one. Ginoat needs to get busier with that jab. He's not going to win this fight when his opponent is constantly. Con and when his opponent does come close, throw an uppercut. Let's see some action replays. So there's that jab that keeps knocking the head back, followed by a left hand as well. But it looks like Marco John is having quite an easy time in there. Every punch he throws, it seems to be landing. Number two, we have Marco John Remtizo from the Philippines taking on Jinoat Sit Chan Singh from Thailand. And again, Marco John backing his opponent up and just firing punch after punch. I cannot imagine this fight going the distance because Marco John has landed so many powerful shots and Jinoat hasn't landed anything to put his opponent off. But that was a nice right hand as I said that. But it needs to be more. And a nice lead left hook sends his opponent into the canvas face first. And I cannot imagine Ginoat getting up from this. And he falls back down. Very nicely done by Marco John. But all credit to Junoat for getting in there. The doctors are looking at him now, making sure he's okay. Fighter safety is absolutely paramount in boxing, but Marco John making a good statement. This bout has come to an end. 41 seconds in round number two. Your winner by TKO.